Hi all. In previous video, we discussed sequential covering algorithm for learning sets of propositional rules. Propositional rules are variable free rules. In this video, we will discuss learning rules that contain variables. These rules, these learning rules are called as first order rules. First order rules are much more expressive than propositional rules because these first order rules contains variables. Inductive learning of first order rules or theories is often referred as inductive logic programming. To implement these first order rules, we'll use programming language Prolog. Prolog is a general purpose Turing equivalent programming language in which programs are expressed as collections of Hahn classes. Now we consider first order representation and first order Hahn classes. Consider one target concept, daughter of x, y. It is true when x is daughter of y, otherwise it is it becomes false. How to come to that conclusion? Consider the person's data is described by attributes, name, father, mother, male, female, etc. So see this data. So name one is Shara and that Sharan is female. Okay, that is female one is true is mentioned. That means Sharan is female. So here father one we are taking as a ball. By considering these three, we can conclude Sharan is a daughter of a ball. So that one becomes a positive example. How this is represented in the case of propositional? So that is father one is Bob, conjunction, name two is Bob, conjunction, father female one is true, then daughter one comma two is true. So here we are using, we are not using variables, we are using the constants Bob like that. So to represent by using variables, we have to take first order representation. So that is, y is female, this one is true. Then x is father of y. If these two are satisfied, then automatically y is daughter of x. These first order Horn classes may also refer to variables in the preconditions that do not occur in the post conditions. See the example here. One rule for granddaughter. So here, father of y comma z, mother of z comma x, female y. So now first we are taking female is y is true. Okay. So then, then z is father of y. X is mother of z. So here we are taking conjunctions of all these three cases. So if these three are satisfied, automatically we can take y is a granddaughter of x. So here all expressions are composed of constants like Bob, Louis, okay, constants are names okay, and variables, predicate symbols. So those are married, greater than, less than, etc. And uh, function symbols, age, okay, calculating age like that. Okay. So here a term is any constant 
or any variable or any function or uh, any function applied to any term. Okay, here Bob is a constant, x is a variable. Here what is the function we are taking? Age is one function which even you are applying to the term. We are applying to the one constant Bob. So that is the term. Next is a literal. A literal is any predicate or its negation applied to any term. So that is married. Bob, comma, Louis. These two, these two persons are married. Okay. Then greater than. We are taking age of Sue and 20. So we are taking it is greater than 20 or not like. So these are called as literals. Now we will take definition of Han class. So here a class is any disjunction of literals where all variables are assumed to be universally quantified. A Han class is a class containing at most one positive literal such as H disjunction negation L1 disjunction negation L2 etc etc disjunction negation Ln. So where H is the positive literal L1 to Ln are negative literals. So due to these in a e these equalities, okay. So B disjunction negation A is equal to a implies B. So the above Han class can alternatively written as L1 conjunction L2 conjunction L3 etc. Conjunction Ln implies H. So this H is given by conjunction of L1 to Ln. How to learn sets of first order rules? To learn these rules, we'll use an algorithm, FOIL, FOIL algorithm. This algorithm is similar to sequential covering algorithm. FOIL that employs an approach very similar to sequential covering and learn one rule algorithms. Here, the hypothesis learned by FOIL are sets of first order rules where each rule is similar to a Han class with two exceptions. What are those two exceptions? First one is the rules learned by FOIL are more restricted than general Han classes. Why? Because the literals are not permitted to contain function symbols. In the case of general Horn classes, you can use function symbols. But in the case of FOIL, that one is not possible. Second exception is FOIL rules are much more expressive than Horn classes. Because the literals appearing in the body of the rule may be negated. Then what are the applications of this FOIL? By using this, you can learn recursive definition of quicksort algorithm and you can learn how to discriminate legal and uh, legal chess positions from illegal chess positions. These two are the applications of a FOIL algorithm. The following is the FOIL algorithm. Here to this we are giving three arguments. One is target predicate, predicates and examples. So here POS is the those examples for which target predicate is true. Negative is uh, those examples for containing target 
predicate is false. Initially, we are considering land rules is an empty set. So, here one outer loop is there and inner loop is there. So, this inner loop is similar to lane 1 rule. So, what is lane 1 rule? There, it returns a single rule that covers some of the examples by conducting a general to specific sets. So, that is by using greedy beam sets for the best rule. How it calculates the best rule by using performance metric. Here, how to take that performance metric? That performance metric is calculated by using file gain. So, here we are calculating file gain performance of each new rule. So, best rules we are adding to the, our set. So, by using this inner loop, we are finding the new rules. These new rules we are adding to the land rule set. So, here by considering all the first past one positive example, we are taking the one new rule. That new rule we are adding to the land rule set. So, after that, what is the positive example is considered? That one is eliminated from the positive example set. We will repeat this process until our positive example set becomes empty. After that, you are returning the land rules. As we discussed, this foil algorithm contains two loops. Outer loop similar to sequential covering algorithm. In this algorithm, in each iteration, we are learning one new rule. That new rules cover that new rule covers some positive examples. This new rule is added to our land rule set. And the positive example covered by this rule are deleted from the positive examples set. Like this, this process is repeated until your positive example set becomes empty. Next, the inner loop which is similar to the land one rule. The inner loop corresponds to a variant of lane 1 rule algorithm extended to accommodate first order rules. This file algorithm seeks only rules that predict when the target literal is true, whereas the sequential covering algorithm would seek both rules that predict when it is true and rules that predict when it is false. Here, how you are performing hypothesis space search? So, hypothesis space search is a specific to general search through the space of hypothesis beginning with the most specific empty disjunction and terminating when the hypothesis is sufficiently general to cover all positive examples in the outer loop. Thanks. Inner loop searches a second hypothesis space. What it consists? It consists conjunction of literals. To find a conjunction that will form the three conditions for the new rule. The following are the two differences between file and sequential covering algorithm. First one is file employs different detailed steps to generate candidate specializations of the rule. Second one is 
while taking performance measure in the line one rule or in the inner loop. Foil uses foil gain. So that is this one is the formula to calculate foil gain. So where T is a number of positive bindings of the rule R that are still covered after adding literal L to R. Whereas in the case of LAN1 rule, to take the performance measure, we are using entropy measure. So these two are the differences between file and sequential covering algorithm. Thank you.